City of Girls by Elizabeth Gilbert. This has to be a two-parter because I'm in love with this book. For the most part, this is just a book that I can't help myself. I'm giggling, I'm underlining sentences and writing things in the margins <laughs> um, because they make me laugh and I want to be able to go back and read them and also share them with someone who cares. <laughs> I feel like when I'm reading this book, I'm having a nice visit with an old friend telling me a story that I can't get enough of and I'm enjoying it. I'm almost savoring it. You know, like you get that really good piece of chocolate, perhaps Godiva. I do have to get to the plot. Vivian is a 19 year old girl that just got kicked out of college for her poor performance. She's home for a little bit with her parents and they can't stand it. So they send her to her Aunt Peg who lives in New York City and runs a theater. She is taking it all in. She's an impressionable young woman who's learning from anyone around her. The other thing I love is that my main character, Vivi or Vivian, is um, kind of getting to do what she's meant to be doing in spite of herself. Aunt Peg is a very interesting character. She has a counterpart that's like the exact opposite of her. Uncle Billy shows up on the scene. That is Aunt Peg's estranged husband. What a colorful character. Each time she even introduces a new character, they have so much to add, so many layers to this story, and the plot just thickens. About Elizabeth Gilbert's writing, that it's interesting in every line because she's usually saying something profound in a funny and clever, yet even sarcastic way. So when I read her books, I am enjoying the plot and I am enjoying getting there. My other guilty confession is that there are books I haven't reviewed just for that reason, because I don't know how to tell you, hey, this is a great book, great plot, but kind of slow. I can comp compare her as a writer to somebody who I hung on every word just like this, every sentence, every character, everything about the book and never wanted to rush ahead was like a Stephen King. Don't read a lot of his because I hate horror. Yet once in a while I find a gem that's not too horrific and then I find his writing amazing. So if you want to enjoy an amazing plot, vibrant characters, and giggle and laugh and never be bored, then go pick up this book. Mm -hmm.